Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to Budget with a July Dreamer. My name is Miranda and on this channel I share everything personal finance. I cover budgeting, saving and investing. If these topics of interest you then please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already and let's get into today's video. So in today's video I will be sharing with you my Vanguard portfolio for the month of July. I am currently filming on July 21st, 2022 and I'll walk you through my Vanguard ISA, my Vanguard SIP, and then I'll also quickly talk about the dividends that I have received in my Vanguard ISA. So let us begin. As you can see right now on the screen, my ISA value for the month of July as of 21st July 2022 is 16,880 and 57 pence. So this is my current value of my ISA. Last month, my ISA value was 16,621 and 14 pence. So since the last update that I provided on the 16th of June, I have since then added in some money into this ISA and we'll see that in the uh, transaction section of the Vanguard um, website. So on the left hand side here, we have my ISA allowance. If you're based in the UK, you would know that um, for the financial year, April 2022 to April 2023, we have an ISA allowance of £20,000. That is, you know, a tax efficient vehicle that we have here in the UK and so far I have 17,700 pounds left of my allowance so I have contributed um, 2,300 since April of this year my goal is to actually contribute 12,000 pounds before April 2023 but we shall see how that goes so if we look at my investments Currently, my largest holdings is the FTSE Global All Cap Index Accumulation Fund. And uh, as of filming this video, it is worth 5,176.59 and pence. And it makes up 30.67% of my total ISA value. As of today, my personal rate of return, uh, sorry, as of since I opened the account is 2.54%. Um, I think those you watched my uh, June update will know that this was actually in red last time. But again, this is does not take into account the fact that I've added in money and there's been market fluctuations and all of that. So, yeah, there is that. So if we scroll up, we can see that my available cash is £69.35. and pence. This money is not money that I have put into this account. This is the money, the dividend that I've, the dividends that I've earned from my investments. And I'll show you that in the transaction section. And for this ISA, the last purchase I made is uh, of the FTSE Global All Cap Index Fund accumulation, and that cost me um, £74.21. So let us go into my investment so you can see the holdings that I have. So nothing has changed here since the last time we um, I gave an update. So I still invest in the FTSE, various FTSE funds and also the S&P 500. So I try to make sure I have um, worldwide exposure and I know some of the um, stocks and shares and funds are repeated into this global fund and this all world dividend. I'm still okay with that. My plan is to for the global all cap is where my highest leverage is, and then as much as I can into my foot, uh, my S and P five hundred. So this is the holdings. This is what it looks like. And as of filming this video, you can see that. Um, I have actually an unrealized loss of minus 25 pounds and 45 pence. So the only fund that seems to be doing well for itself is the FTSE UK Equity Income Index Fund. And there's a 
growth of 240 and 26 pence. Everything else is in red, but again, I'm a long-term investor, so I'm not too concerned about this because the market always fluctuates. It goes up, it goes down. So I am waiting for it to go down. So you can see, like I mentioned, I have some cash here and this cash is what I got from my dividend. So I will go to the transactions and show you in the cash statement, apologies, it's in the cash st statement. So you can see that in July, I actually earned some interest in the little cash that was in my account. So I earned six pence. Um, and then with dividend for my, this is my, um, what's this one? I think this is my all world. Um, dividend income i made 36 pounds and 84 pence gain there that's the dividend and then for the um for the i think these are the emerging markets 18 pounds and seven pence and then vusa i know this is the s p 500 that one i received 13 pounds and 48 pence so this is where this money that is sitting in my account my cash pot here comes from so what i'm actually going to do with this money is right now i'm going to invest this money so 69 pounds and 35 pence i am actually going to send this to my um, all cap index fund this is the one that i love adding money to so 69.35 i will top up so just give my internet a minute and I will add 69.35. That's how much I'm going to invest in that one. If we do next and the source of my funds, this will actually be the available cash. I'm not going to transfer from my debit card. So that's all honky dory, tick confirm. And then I am submitting my purchase and they give you the steps of what is going to happen in the next couple of days. So, so you should go through in the next couple of days. So this is what is happening with my ISA. Like I said, last month it was lower, but like I said, I have since added in some money. Let's look at that pretty quickly. So in July, I added in um, well, the pending one, actually, it seems since I filmed this video, I have not added anything in. I, th I was sure I had added something in, but apparently not. <laughs> the only thing I've added in is obviously today what I've just done now, which is currently pending. So I haven't added anything into my ISA, but no worries. I'm going to definitely invest some more money before the end of this month. I just don't know how much at the moment, but that is okay. We'll go back to the investment so that it's easier when I actually choose my pension. So I have two pensions, one with my employer, which I benefit from employer much, highly recommended. And the second one is the SIP with Vanguard, which I manage. SIP is self-invested personal pension. And I just invest in one fund and that's the target retirement 2045 fund accumulation. You can see there's also some money in this one. And again, it's not money that I've added in. It is money that I've actually received from the government. So as of filming this video, you can see that my um, current value for my investment is 11,146 and 48 pence. Last month, it was 10,800 and I believe 12 and 24 pence or thereabouts. I think it was 10,853 and 24 pence. That's how much I had last month. So you can see I'm still in the red. So this is the unrealized loss here. Since the last update, I have added in a hundred pounds, which we can see in cash statements. So I added in a hundred pounds in the month of July, my standard hundred pounds that I do. And then there's a pending one of 25 pounds. So this 25 pounds actually comes from the government and I'll go to overview so you can see what I'm talking about. So you can see since April of this year I have added in 400 pounds so far and I've re received tax relief from the government 
of a hundred pounds so for every hundred pounds that i invest i get 25 pounds from the government and this is reflected in my transaction you can see some purchases that i have here that are 25 pounds this is just to denote that i am investing the tax relief that i'm receiving this is auto done for me by uh, Vanguard so I don't actually have to come in here actively and invest this myself Vanguard does that for me so not much to say to be honest about my stocks and shares ISA but I'm not too sad not too surprised at the state of my accounts you know these unrealized losses are just that and realize until I sell them then I definitely lose something but I'm not planning to do that anytime soon but yeah so this is what I wanted to share with respect to my July Vanguard uh, portfolio update I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video bye bye